Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial in Unreal Engine 5. In this episode we're going to take on the classic platform ability of being able to glide after a jump. So you could use this in conjunction with a platformer game or you could do something like Breath of the Wild where you can pull out a glider and continue a glide from there. Nonetheless, let's jump in and have a look at how we achieve this. So the type of glide we're going to be doing for our character is going to work as such. We're going to make it so that when the character jumps up in the air, and if we hold down the jump key, we want him to glide. Okay, so it's how we can cross small gaps. Almost like a paraglider type thing, or like a Spyro the Dragon type gliding. It's that sort of movement we're going to try and do. So the root of all of this is the notify apex. So when you're doing a jump, you can actually turn on a setting, which basically notifies you when it stops going up, it starts going down. So which we call the apex. So the jumps reach its maximum height and it's going to come back down again. And if I were to go to my character movement component and select and search for apex, you'll see notify apex is a tick box, but it's grayed out. You can't tick it. I never knew why they don't let you just tick it. But um, the reason we want to do is uh, have it so we can customize when and where we unbind it and unset it. Because we don't want it on all the time. So, but I never understood why it's just in this list and it never made sense. But anyway, on the jump, we're going to drag out our character movement component and we're going to do set notify apex. And you're going to set that to true when we do jump. And conversely, on the stop jump, we're going to turn it off. Once we've notified the apex, we need to bind the event for the notification. So you're going to drag out at the end here and do bind event apex, and you'll see bind event reached jump apex. And I'm just going to do create event and choose a create a matching event. On apex reached, we'll call it. So when the player reaches the apex, we are going to tell them to start gliding. And the gliding is pretty simple. All we're doing is changing the gravity scale on the character movement component. So we drag that out and set gravity scale to 0.3, uh, 0.2. There we go. Okay. Next, we need to make it so when we landed, we set the gravity back. So landed is actually an event we can already use. So event on landed. And we're going to do set gravity scale again. But this time it's going to go back to the default, which is set to 1.75 here on the right. So 1.75. Like that. Okay. Let's take a look at this in game. Now we're not done yet. There's more we've got to do, especially for the stop jumping part. But if I were to jump and hold down the jump key. We can glide. Okay. Now, a couple of things we need to do is we need to turn off the apex check because if I was to jump and hold it and glide like this and push jump again, you'll see for a split moment, the gravity will change back down to um, a small number rather than normal number so the notification is still going off which we don't want so what we're going to do is when i tell it to stop jumping we're going to tell it to unbind the events so unbind all events from the reached jump apex and so that will stop this from firing off okay and when we take to do that, we also want to change the gravity scale back as well. So I'm going to copy that and do this too. So if I'm like mid glide and I let go of the button, I want it just to return back to normal gravity. Almost like putting your wings away. Okay. Let's see how that responds. So let's start somewhere high. Hold. Landing. Jump normal. Hold and let go, and I'll drop to the floor. Perfect. 
So the last thing I want to do in here, and you typically would do this if you're doing a glide mechanic, is you want to increase the air control the player has. So air control is how much you can move whilst you're falling. And so we're going to increase that once we start a glide. So on apex reached, when gravity scale is 0 0.2, we're going to uh, change the air control. So set air control. And I'm going to set this to 0.8. And when I'm landed, I'm going to set it back to its default. So set air control. And just want to double check what the default value is. So we go down here. Air control is 0.35. Okay, so it sets it back down to where it was. Um, yeah. And similarly here at the end, we could do this here too. So air control 0.35. Okay, so now when the player is gliding, they should have a lot more freedom of movement to latin their spots yeah so if you want to adjust the gravity uh that will adjust your glide length so let's just show you the difference it makes when we change the gravity scale so the gravity scale we're going to change is down on apex reached currently set to 0.2 let's go to 0.1 and so now You'll see this guy can glide for longer. So there you have it, a very simple way to introduce a glide mechanic to your game. And it's fully customizable in how much air control you want to give the player and also how much glide you want to give them. So have a play around with it, see how it feels for your game and uh, let us know how you get on in the comments. Now, if you like this video i want to see more from me early you can head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan Laley, where a donation of just one dollar a month gets you access to all our videos early plus many other benefits too including discord access and voting privileges as too thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all next time Bye -bye.